Hello again. In this video, I will show you how to browse the EOWeb GeoPortal, how to search for specific NMAP data you are interested in, and how to download them. We will navigate to the EOWeb GeoPortal starting from the Instrument Planning Portal. If you have not yet opened and logged into the Instrument Planning Portal, first open your preferred browser and type https colon double forward slash planning.nmap.org. The NMAP Instrument Planning Portal homepage opens. Log in with your credentials and select the User Portal. Scroll down to the EOWeb User section. Here, you can decide to log into the Data Archive either as a CAT1 user, in this case you need to have an already accepted proposal, or as a Catalog user, depending on which role you have assigned to as I have demonstrated in the previous videos. The functionality and options in the EOWeb GeoPortal will be the same for both CAT1 users and Catalog users. In our example, we select Login as Catalog user. The button will direct you automatically to the login page of the EOWeb GeoPortal, where you are asked to provide your credentials. The password remains the same as for the login at the Instrument Planning Portal registration. Click Login. After the successful login, you will be directed to the EOWeb GeoPortal homepage. The upper section, highlighted in gray, is used to browse and search for data, while the lower part of the portal displays the available data as well as a preview of the selected data. First, select the sensor we are working with. Which one would that be? <laughs> right, it's NMAP. Tick the box next to NMAP. This selection is called Filter by Collection. Next, apply Filter by Region. You can find this selection option in the little map window in the upper left-hand side. Here, you can either draw an area of interest in the small map or in an enlarged map after clicking on Show Advanced Map. You can easily zoom in and zoom out scrolling the mouse. In order to make temporal queries, use the menu item Filter by Time and define a time range in Start Time and End Time of the desired acquisition. Use the Search button to execute the query. Once the search is completed, you can find the list of available data in the lower section of this portal. You can adapt the columns to show the parameters that you are interested in, such as start and end time of the data acquisition, sun elevation angle, cloud cover. The map and data preview window is right next to the data list. Here, you can see the tile which is selected in the list on a map extent, as well as a preview of the image scene. It is highly recommended to check the scene so you can spot potential clouds over your area of interest. Under the list icon, you can access further information on the product you selected. We're almost done. Once you are content with your selection, click on the shopping cart icon. You will be forwarded to the order option form. Here, you have the possibility to select the processing level of the requested data product. These comprise level 1B, representing top of atmosphere radiance, level 1C, representing geocoded top of atmosphere radiance, and level 2A, representing surface reflectance. For the level 2A product, you can choose between different atmospheric correction modes, namely land, water, and combined land-water. From the drop-down menu, select the product type that fits your use case best. Recommended for standard use cases on land is level 2A processing with land atmospheric correction. In our case, however, we choose level 1B data, as we would like to do the pre-processing to level 2A ourselves. Followingly, you can select product format, the projection, and other parameters depending on your use case. All data fields hold standard values. If you like, you can edit them. Click on Add to Order to close the product selections, and confirm your order request by clicking on Proceed to Cart. You will be forwarded to an overview of your order. Click on Proceed to Checkout once you have reviewed your order. Prior to data delivery, you are required to accept the license agreement. Please read it carefully, tick the boxes, and click on Continue. Verify and submit the order by clicking on Submit, and complete the ordering process with OK. Congratulations! You have now placed your order. 
you will be informed by email once the data is available for download, containing username, the order number, and the FTP download link. For now, you are forwarded to the EOWeb GeoPortal homepage. Later, to download the data, use an FTP client, for example, FileZilla. For further help on how to download the data from the FTP server, please open the help pages on the top right of the EOWeb portal and click on the entry Downloading Order Data. I would like to give you one more useful tip for checking the status of your orders, independent if they are future observation requests entered in the observation request portal as we saw in the previous video, or if they are orders from the archive entered in the EOWeb portal as we saw in this video. You can check the status of your orders by clicking on View Your Orders in the top right of the EOWeb portal. This completes my introduction to the NMAP Data Access Portal. I hope that it was useful for you and that you can't wait to start ordering and downloading NMAP data in your areas of interest. For any remaining questions, please refer to the user manual or contact the user help desk. I have another final recommendation for all users who watch these videos outside of the Hyper-EDU course on NMAP preprocessing techniques and data access portal. The Hyper-EDU course series Beyond the Visible teaches the fundamentals of imaging spectroscopy and its use in selected application fields with many more videos, interactive graphics, and quizzes. See you there!